Welcome to the World of Land of the Lost, a classic TV series from 1974 that takes viewers on a wild adventure filled with thrills and surprises. As you dive into this timeless show, get ready for a roller coaster ride of funny, shocking, and even sad moments. There's something for everyone, so keep watching to uncover all the twists and turns. One of the many fascinating aspects of this series is its diverse cast of characters. From the brave explorers to the mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows, each role brings something unique to the table. Out of the many characters, which one was your favorite? As you reminisce about the show, we want to hear about your most special memories or personal experiences related to it. Whether it's a thrilling scene that stuck with you or a funny moment from watching with friends and family, share your stories in the comments below. So grab your popcorn and get ready for an unforgettable journey through Land of the Lost. There's no telling what surprises await around the next corner. In 1974, a television series called Land of the Lost aired, offering a timeless adventure in the world of science fiction. The show follows the Marshall family Rick, Will, and Holly who get stuck in a strange prehistoric land after a routine expedition goes wrong. Set in a mysterious and lush environment, the Marshalls encounter dinosaurs, slea stacks, and other odd creatures as they try to survive and find a way back home. They're joined by their loyal friend Chaka, and together they face the challenges of this unfamiliar world. Land of the Lost was praised for its special effects, which made the experience immersive for viewers. While it wasn't a huge commercial success initially, it gained a dedicated fan base over time and influenced future works in science fiction and fantasy. Although the show didn't win many awards during its original run, it's still remembered fondly by fans for its unique storytelling characters and its impact on the genre. Land of the Lost is a significant part of television history loved for its adventure, mystery, and family dynamics. In summary, Land of the Lost, the 1974 television series, takes viewers on an exciting journey into a strange world as the Marshall family tries to survive and find their way home. Mass X time in the army gave him a big chance to show off his many talents. In the early 1960s, he traveled all over the world with the all-army show called Rolling Along. People everywhere loved his amazing voice impressions. Before he got into entertainment, Massac ended up working as a bouncer at a popular nightclub in Los Angeles. This job unexpectedly helped him get into a whole new world. Massac went from being a nightclub bouncer to starring in a movie called Ega. Making Ega was tricky because they only had three Sleestack costumes. To make it work, they got creative with the shots and editing to make it look like there were more Slea Stacks. Masak's story shows how people can take different paths in showbiz. His journey is inspiring for anyone with an unusual career path. Learning more about Masak's career gives us a better understanding of the many sides of the person behind the roles he played. From performing with the army to solving problems on set, Masak's experiences show the talent and toughness needed in the entertainment world. In short, Masak's journey from the army to Iga shows how unpredictable show business can be. His mix of military service, voice impressions, nightclub work, and creative problem-solving makes for a fascinating story. In the 1974 TV series Land of the Lost, a notable actor from the original days of our lives played a significant role until 1981. He's still active in Hollywood, USA, having starred in the show and winning three consecutive Golden Halo Awards from the Southern California Motion Picture Council for other projects like Tiny Dancer, Falling Down, and Dahmer vs. Gacy. Besides acting, he's been writing and am seeing various events worldwide since December 2012. He's certainly made a mark beyond just his acting career. Wesley Yura, an actor in the 1974 TV series Land of the Lost, attempted a gimmick by billing himself as simply Wesley in the credits. However, this tactic did not succeed as intended and is regretted by Yura to this day. Van Snowden, who portrayed the Zarn in the series, wore a blue nylon body stocking adorned with silver reflectors. He performed on a blue screen set with colored lights flashing to give his character a twinkly glow. Snowden, accustomed to puppeteering larger-than-life characters, had to adapt his performance for the smaller screen. Yura credits his success as an actor to his co-star Francis Reed from Days of Our Lives. Reed mentored him when he was 23, and they shared a close relationship for 36 years until her passing in 2010. Yura even served as a pallbearer at her funeral. In Los Angeles, during his tenure as the MDA Telethon host, he marked the beginning of the UCL at Jerry Lewis Neuromuscular Center by turning the first shovel of dirt. 
On the show, Rick and Jack Marshall, although not explicitly mentioned, serve as forest rangers. The river depicted in the opening scenes where the Marshalls raft is the Colorado River flowing through the Grand Canyon. During the hiatus between the first and second seasons, the producers devised an engaging strategy to maintain viewer interest. In the first season finale titled Circle, the Marshalls realize they aren't meant to be in their current situation. And Nick later discloses that due to a time disturbance, they never truly arrived in their current location. The solution involves going back in time to relive the accident that brought them to the land of the lost. This journey not only corrects their timeline, but also makes them re-experience all events leading up to that point in a continuous time loop. The show, while not overtly adorned with details, subtly weaves together the Marshalls' roles as forest rangers, the scenic backdrop of the Colorado River, and a unique time travel plot twist. This blend of elements adds depth to the storyline and engages viewers with a captivating narrative. The actor, Land of the Lost, garnered recognition for his humanitarian efforts. He received the Muscular Dystrophy Humanitarian of the Year Award and was named Man of the Year by volunteers assisting cancer-stricken families. He served as a worldwide ambassador for Child Help USA. Eh? In 2003, he was honored with the Alan Ludden Humanitarian Award by the Motion Picture Mothers, presented by former winner Tom Selleck. Notably, Land of the Lost holds the distinction of being the only actor to portray JFK, Jeffrey Dahmer, and Adolf Hitler. Land of the Lost, a much-loved TV series from the mid-70s, made a lasting impact with its creative stories and memorable characters. One of the actors from the show received recognition with a Golden Palm Star on the Palm Springs Walk of Star in 27, acknowledging his contribution to the industry. Before becoming a TV star, he tried his luck in movies, appearing in a comedy directed by Otto Preminger. However, the experience didn't meet his expectations, so he went back to his previous job in real estate sales. Despite a brief attempt at acting that didn't go as planned, his dedication to his work and love for the entertainment industry never faltered. Besides his on-screen work, he also served as an honorary sheriff in Tarzana, California for an impressive 35 years, showing a strong connection to his community. The show's lasting popularity, along with the achievements of its cast, continues to be remembered in the history of television, making a strong impact on audiences worldwide. The red backpack camping equipment featured in the series bears the brand Kelty. When the show was in development, star Wesley Eura connected with creator Sid Croft through a mutual friend. They hit it off instantly, forming a bond that would shape the course of the series. Eura auditioned for the network, but Croft was confident in him from the start. He saw something special in Eura's talent and believed he was the perfect fit for the role. Eura, eager to prove himself, underwent rigorous testing against various actors to assemble his TV family. It was a process filled with anticipation and excitement, but in the end, Eura emerged victorious, solidifying his place as a key player in the show's lineup. Hayden Marino, a nephew of one of the cast members, added a unique dynamic to the group. His presence brought a familial warmth to the set, enhancing the chemistry among the actors. Marino's connection to the cast added depth to the relationships both on and off screen, enriching the overall experience for everyone involved. In the end, the combination of talented actors, dedicated creators, and memorable characters brought Land of the Lost to life in a way that captivated audiences for years to come. It remains a cherished part of television history, remembered fondly by fans old and new alike.